This is Nancy Pelosi when she's asked by a former Fox News reporter, currently works for, I believe, Salem Broadcasting, uh, James Rosen, asking about whether or not Nancy Pelosi hates the president. Take a look. Do you hate the president, Madam Speaker? Because I don't, I don't Collins, hate anybody. Representative Collins, the reason I asked. House, we don't hate anybody, not anybody in the world. So don't, don't be a of me. I did not accuse you. I asked a question. Representative Collins yesterday suggested that the Democrats are doing this simply because they don't like the guy. I have nothing to do with that. I think it's an important point. I think the president is a coward when it comes to helping uh, our our kids who are afraid of gun violence. I think he is cruel when he doesn't deal with helping our dreamers, of which we're very proud. I think he's in denial about the the, uh, climate crisis. However, that's about the election. This is about the election. Take it up in the election. This is about the Constitution of the United States and the facts that lead to the president's violation of his oath of office. And as a Catholic, I resent your using the word hate in a sentence that addresses me. I don't hate anyone. I was raised in a way that is full, a heart full of love and always prayed for the president. And I still pray for the president. I pray for the president all the time. So don't mess with me when it comes to words like that. So there you have it, our Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, righteously indignant at James Rosen for even asking the question, do you hate the president? But you notice Nancy Pelosi getting righteously indignant over the even the suggestion that she might hate somebody because she is a Catholic. Now, for those of you that are keeping track at home, Nancy Pelosi is a Catholic that advocates for not only abortion, but abortion on demand, anywhere, anytime, up to the point of birth. There have been multiple bills on this where there were, for example, restrictions on 25 weeks or later. In other words, basically a ban on third trimester abortions. And Nancy Pelosi was like, uh, no, none of that. When it comes to things like homosexual marriage, she is someone that believes her official stance is that homosexual marriage is something that should be sanctioned by the federal government. Now, it's one thing to have a libertarian stance like myself, which is the government ought to stay out of marriage entirely, and if that means that two dudes want to rent a hall and put a ring on each other, the law shouldn't get involved with that. But that's not Nancy Pelosi's stance. Nancy Pelosi's stance is the government needs to give them a certificate asserting that they are married and basically sponsoring their marriage and saying, no, this is a marriage. That's Nancy Pelosi's official position. Now, I do not claim to be an expert on Catholic doctrine, but the last time I checked, abortion is considered murder and homosexuality is considered an abomination against God according to not just the scripture, which would be grounds enough, but actual Catholic teaching. So, The idea that, well, I'm a Catholic, therefore I don't hate anybody. Yeah, Nancy Pelosi holds quite a few beliefs that are not exactly in concert with Catholic orthodoxy. And so forgive us for thinking that maybe on the stance of hatred, you weren't exactly on the same page as the Catholics with that one either. It's not exactly a far stretch, but I love the media actually doing interference for and trying to justify Nancy Pelosi's outburst here. This is an article in the Washington Post by Karen uh, Tomaldi, and uh, it starts out here, Nancy Pelosi and that four-letter word, talking about hatred, of course. So here's how it goes. One of the things that every Catholic child is taught is that the word hate should never be used in connection with another human being. This admonition flows from the expansive Catholic interpretation of the Fifth Commandment. In a general audience last year in St. Peter's Square, Pope Francis declared that to hate is to murder in your heart. All right, I do not disagree with anything in the article so far. And I actually agree with this Catholic belief that 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 broad interpretation of the fifth commandment is correct because we see in the Sermon on the Mount later, Jesus actually references the fifth commandment and, and says, expands it to basically include that if you if a, anyone has hate in their heart towards their brother, he is guilty of murder. 
So this is in concert not only with Catholic doctrine, but with normal Christian doctrine. Here's the problem with that, though. Catholics also consider abortion actual murder. So if you're trying to sort this out in your head, Nancy Pelosi is still a good Catholic because she is against murder in your heart, in other words, hatred, which I agree with but she's for actual murder, and therefore, that's totally okay. That doesn't make any sense. I, I mean, if you're going to be anti-murder, and you see hatred as murder, I I'm on board with that concept. But you can't say, well, I would never hate somebody, because to hate somebody, to hate somebody in your heart is murder. But then you support what your church teaches as actual murder. Doesn't make any sense. Your brand of Catholicism does not exactly leave me with a whole lot of confidence that because the Catholic Church says something is murder, that you were just going to abstain from it and, and every appearance of evil. You advocate for policies that the Catholic Church views as murder, so of course it's understandable that a person would be a little fuzzy on how you would interpret hatred. This whole thing is completely illogical. So a little further down in the same article, her critics will question her sincerity. Oh, you think? Her, cri her critics will question her sincerity and point out that she is broken with Catholic teaching on big issues of doctrine, chief among them abortion. Quote, The church has their position and we have ours. What is that a woman, uh, which is that a woman is has free will given to her by God? Pelosi said in the New York Times in 2015. So, in other words, if I'm understanding you correctly, Nancy Pelosi's official position is that it's okay to engage in murder because you have free will. Well, is there any such thing as a murder that does not occur because of free will? I mean, let's look back at the first murder in the Bible, Cain and Abel. Well, the reason that Cain killed Abel is because he had free will. If he had no free will, if God had not given that to him, then he wouldn't be able to kill Cain. So, does that mean his murder wasn't really murder and God was just upset at him for nothing? Nancy Pelosi's brand of theology just it throws all the rules out, basically to where she can make the rules up as she goes along. Unfortunately, that's the stance of quite a few people on both sides of the aisle, but Nancy Pelosi's is on full display and she doesn't seem to have any understanding or sense of her own hypocrisy in this. Because if we're talking about free will being the virtue, then the shooters that she just talked about that are killing school children, which is a legitimate concern, which I understand, I think that her characterization of how President Trump handles it is incorrect, but she's just talking about how concerned she is about killing the children and yet she endorses a policy that the Catholic Church says is murder. The shooters in those mass shootings had free will too. What's the difference? Because if free will just makes it all okay, well then there's no such thing as a murder. And then, if free will is the ultimate virtue then why is it okay to rob a child's free will? Because the children that are aborted, they have no free will in the matter at all. They don't get any say. In fact, the way that your free will is being exercised is to rob the free will of another individual. You've stolen every choice that they will ever get to make. So if preserving free will is the ultimate goal here, which, by the way, is a goal that I am on board with, and if that's actually what you want, then I'm with you. But if that's the case, then killing an unborn child is completely wrong because you're robbing them of literally 100% of their free will. Another thing that really sticks out to me here is that you'll notice when Nancy Pelosi says, well, I don't hate anybody, and the reason that you know that I don't hate anybody is because of my faith. The media not only takes her word for it, but actually steps up to the plate to defend her on that. When's the last time that you, as an evangelical Christian, said, 
no, I don't hate gay people. I think that they're living in a sinful lifestyle and what they're doing is wrong, but I don't hate them. Oh, you're automatically a bigot. You're automatically a racist. You're automatically a sexist. Doesn't matter. See, when the average Christian, anybody on the right says, hey, I don't hate anybody. I speak out against certain things because I believe they're wrong, but I don't hate them. Well, you're labeled a bigot from then on out, and then nothing you ever do will be good enough to satisfy the SJW mob. But Nancy Pelosi, even though it's wildly inconsistent with the things that she herself has said, when she says, well, no, I don't hate anybody, they say, oh, yep, see, she's a Catholic. Yep, her faith says that you can't hate people, so obviously she doesn't hate anyone. And will actually go after people that say that she does. Now, I can't look into Nancy Pelosi's heart. I can't say definitively that she hates President Trump because I can't, I can't do that. It's not something that I, as a mortal human being, has the ability to do. I could make a guess on it, and I would guess that there's some pretty strong-willed animosity, if nothing else, directed at Donald Trump, but I can't definitively say that she does hate the guy. But what I can say is that her Catholic faith is obviously not the thing that is keeping her from doing so. I mean, if this isn't straining at a gnat to swallow a camel, I don't know what is. If you're going to stand out in front of people and say, well, I can't say that I hate the person. I don't want to use the word hate against another human being because that would be wrong. That would be against my faith. But you're like, child murder? Yep, line them up. You can kind of see why people don't take your word at it that your religion is the reason that you don't hate the guy. Maybe you don't, I don't know, but if so, it ain't your Catholic faith that's keeping you from doing it. You know, you really should like this video and subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel. Oh, what's that? You want to know what's on the channel before you subscribe to it? Oh, no, 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 it's like Obamacare. So you gotta subscribe to find out what's on it.